Let's dive into five easy ways that you can help save the oceans. Do you love the ocean and all the weird things in it like this? This, 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 or this? If so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything ocean related. Hello everyone and today I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for 250 subscribers. Well, right now I'm actually at 275, so thank you for that. I'm very, very appreciative of each and every single one of you guys. But back to the video. I want to tell all of you guys how you can help save the ocean wherever you are at by participating in one of or a combination of these things. I often see a lot of negativity when it comes to climate change related subjects. Therefore, I wanted to shed some light on this and bring awareness in a positive way, not in a negative way. I'm not gonna talk about, for example, I'm not going to talk about becoming vegan or going vegetarian because I believe that is just simply too much to ask for and that's too hard. That's a hard thing to do. If you want to do it, more power to you. Like you're helping the environment. But I know me and I, I'm guilty of this as well. I eat a lot of meat. It's just, I've always done it. I'm guilty of that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that there are really easy ways that you can make a big difference in this video. Number five is gonna to be to download the Google Chrome extension Ocean Hero. I'll put a link to it in the description, but this is a search engine which is just like any other search engine, except that for every five searches, a plastic bottle is retrieved from the ocean. This is super easy and could easily make a huge difference. The more people that participate in this, the more large the difference is going to be. One of you guys actually recommended this to me and I've been using it ever since, so thank you for that. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Ocean Hero is gonna look like this. It looks exactly like Google Chrome. It, the only difference is the background and it says Ocean Hero. This is the number of plastic bottles that have been recovered from the ocean as a result of this search browser. So go check it out. It's really simple, really easy, and you can make a difference every single day, just like me. Number four is huge, especially for Arctic animals. Number four is being energy efficient or simply turning off or unplugging things when they're not needed. If you see a light on in the house, nobody's in the room, turn it off. It's really simple, really easy. I've been doing it a lot more now. Uh, if I see something plugged in and it's not being used, I unplug it. And it's really simple. And the less energy that me and you use, the less the earth will warm up and the less likely that ice caps will melt as quickly as they are. Three, number three is going to be to use less plastic. Instead of using plastic water bottles, plastic straws, plastic silverware, well, not silverware, pla well, I guess it is silverware, but plastic, just plastic bags. Instead of using all of these things, find other alternatives. Like for example, for water, you could just use a hydro flask or a, another kind of, another kind of, reusable water bottle that you can just fill up and use several times rather than one plastic water bottle that lasts you like one time. Also, you could use reusable bags, take to grocery stores like Kroger, Publix, whatever grocery stores you guys have. As well as that, you can also use paper straws, which are better for the environment. Number two is going to be to take shorter showers and or use cold water to wash your laundry, both of which save loads of carbon over time. And simply washing your clothes with cold water can save up to 500 pounds of carbon per person per year. Times that by 10 people, that's 5,000 pounds. Well, I think I did my math right, but <laughs> not a math major. But 
5,000 pounds for just 10 people doing that. That's insane. You can make a huge difference just by washing your clothes with cold water instead of hot water. Also, taking shorter showers. I'm guilty of taking longer showers in the past. I don't anymore, but I have made a goal of mine to take five minute showers as often as I can rather than taking hour long showers, which there's no need for that. But I understand sometimes it's a little hard if that's something you're used to. It's kind of hard to break a habit, but just start by every day, lower your shower time by two minutes. Every time you lower that shower time, it saves loads and loads of carbon. But that's another way that you can help save the ocean. Number one is gonna be enjoy marine life and educate yourself on the life in the oceans. The more that you enjoy it, the more that you learn about it, the more likely that you are going to appreciate the oceans and want to make a difference in saving the oceans and all the different kinds of life that call the oceans home. And I know there's, there's gonna be tons of people like that are gonna tell you we're doomed the oceans are all just doomed, like everything's gonna die, everything's gonna go extinct. I don't like to say that because that's negativity. You don't want to say that stuff's gonna happen. Nobody knows for certain what's gonna happen. But I like to think optimistically and be positive as much as possible. I never say never, and I think that the ocean still has plenty of hope, and I think that by spreading awareness, bringing awareness to this, that every little bit that people do to help the oceans can go a very long way in the future. And I think eventually the oceans might thrive once again, eventually. Not now, not tomorrow, but eventually. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what the, what the tips you guys wanna start taking. And just thank you all for 275 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And next time on All Things Marine.